Hello, my name is Nathan and I'm a rising junior at Evergreen Valley High School and this is my first milestone. So my project is a gesture controlled RC car with a robot arm and let me just show you a demonstration. So for my first milestone, um, I basically made the flex sensor control the servo. So here's a demonstration. So basically when I bend the flex sensor, this moves the servo. So in my project I use a breadboard, a flex sensor, a servo, an Arduino and a 20k ohm resistor. So the flex sensor works in a way that it's a variable resistor. So when I bend the flex sensor, the resistor in the flex sensor, the resistance increases, which in turn increases the output voltage and the voltage across the flex sensor. And then the mini servo, it has uh, three wires. A red, um, in this case, it's a red, brown, and orange wire. So the red wire uh, represents the power. The brown wire represents ground and the orange wire represents the control signal or uh, and this control signal wire is connected to digital pin 9 so this basically makes digital pin 9 control my servo and also my flex sensor is connected to analog pin A0 so um, the things I and also the 20k ohm resistor this basically limits the current in the uh, in the circuit and is also connected to power so the things I learned in this experiment was the map and constraint function. So the map, cons um, the, I used the map function, which basically maps the range from the flex sensor reading to the range of the servo, which is from zero to one eighty degrees, because the servo can only rate it, rotate that much. And then I use the constraint function, which basically constrains the number read by the flex sensor to that range from zero to one eighty, and then. The, uh, and then also the things I learned was the a bit more programming and also how a flex sensor works. The struggles I faced in this experiment was before I didn't know how um, the map and constraint function, my servo wasn't working. So after hours of researching, uh, and I finally found about these two functions, which allowed me to uh, make my project work. And yeah, thank you.